There he is. These fish, these fish are pre-spawn. Yeah, buddy, what a bite. That's the one you come out here for. <laughs> nice one. Let's pull a better fish. We'll let Scott do some camera work back there. When people say, you really catch them on that thing? <laughs> I'd much rather be fishing right now. Hey guys, good morning. Wes Yancey here. We are bringing you another episode of G3 Sportsman today. And you guys seemed to like our river video last time enough where we're gonna do it again. So we are in uh, Southwest Missouri again on one of our little uh, streams, tributaries. And uh, we've got a interesting uh, approach to how we're gonna catch some river smallmouth today. This might surprise some of you guys. A lot of times people come out in these rivers with the little baits, not today. We've got a surprise for you. So come along with us. Yeah, this spot you've got, right now it's three and a half feet. So anywhere you can find some depth on this river with current, especially with current breaks like this, they load up. So if you can catch one, you should be able to catch five. So it's pretty, it's a pretty cool spot in the summertime. This is a really beautiful spot too. There he is. And when they eat it, boy, they eat it. See, that thing came right out of the slack and it just thumped it. I like a better fish right off the bat. Not a, not a giant, but a good one. And this river, this beautiful fish, these colors are just insane. And let me tell you, that one actually got a lot of treble, but a lot of times these fish will have that whole bait in their mouth. Look at that, he ain't but maybe six inches longer than that, that bait. And people say, you really catch him on that thing? Well, that tells you an awful lot right there. All right, guys. Little Missouri smallmouth right there. They fight hard, man, too, and they are tough, tough fish. I'll let him go. You think this thing's been getting eaten? Oof. I'm going to see how long I can go with this guy before we switch him. In this spot, in most spots, as I'm looking for current breaks, those smallmouth in the winter time with the water being 50 degrees, they're not gonna sit in this current all day. They may get in it for a while, but I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna cast into the current and I'm gonna let this bait swing through this current. And when it comes out into this slack water, they usually nail it. Oh, that was a bite. I don't think I tapped the grass there. There he is. There he is. What was that? There he is, right where he was supposed to be. Right where he was supposed to be. In these big ones, Scott, all come off spot lock because they start digging in that current. They're pretty hard to catch up with. But these smaller, smaller ones, I don't have to. All right, guys. Fish number two for the day, just a little 12 incher. That thing will grow into a 20 incher one day and my son will catch him. We're gonna keep after it. This bite we're on guys is pretty specific. I mean, they're eating it pretty good, but they really like it presented a certain way, a certain speed. So um, especially when you're fishing current, you, you really gotta find those current breaks that allow those fish to get out of that current just a little bit. They still like some. But if you can find those spots like this that have that current break and a little bit of grass, you can have yourself a really nice day. And we're using a six inch soft swim bait today from Mega Bass. You can see that tail kick. Let me pull it this way, Scott. You get it under there, you see that tail thumping.
something. <laughs> what a weird buy that fish just wham with it in the current. I just saw my line running. And he's coming right at us. This a little guy. This a little guy. Dark one though. Dark one. Look at that. I can keep him from spinning. What's he doing eating this thing? I mean, he had to think thought this was his brother. Yeah. But man, he ate that bait swimming down that current. I just see my line shooting slack. Just reeled into him. Another one. It's gonna be one day where the Gorilla Grip gloves keep my hands from getting thrashed. What you can see, guys, is this current, heavy, heavy current dumping in here. And this, this is even better a lot of times when it gets hot and those fish are trying to get some air. But I'm throwing this bait and you can see my line with a little bit of a bow in it. And I'm letting it swing into these pockets. And you never know what's under the water. There could be a big boulder, a big fish is sitting behind and that bait swings over their head. And let me tell you, these smallmouth will track this thing. I've had fish off thrown into this current and eat this bait completely where the bait's basically showing nothing but just the eye poking out. So when they want it, they're gonna track it down, they're gonna get it. Oh yeah, buddy, what a bite. <laughs> I thought there might be one sitting up there where I hadn't thrown in that shallower spot and it's a nice one. Not a giant, but that's an above average fish here for the river. He's going to put on a little show for you guys into your living room. One more, all right. Just a good keeper fish here, just barely hooked on the outside. This guy's missing an eye. Look at that, Scott. That wasn't from us either. See that? Got one good one though. He's still eating. came from this little spot. So we made a cast up. You see the little bit of current coming in on the edge and he was just sitting right there waiting on a meal to come by. Probably on his good side, I would say. Got the spot lock on. Just sitting in this eddy. Troll motor beating you up. You're laying on your back, putting ribs out, <laughs> losing your glasses. <laughs> I'd much rather be fishing right now. God's nice enough to come out here and let me let me be the fisherman for the day. Oh, there he is. I think we drifted on that spot a little bit last time after I got that first bite. Boy, digging. Better fish. Much better fish. I'd like to net him, but we don't have it out. You know how that goes, folks. So you guys want some excitement here? <laughs> you just filmed that beautiful fish there. Because we're going to get bigger today. There he is, folks. That's the one you come out here for. <laughs> nice one. I mean, you could go down to your, your local lake, you know, if you got smallmouth and catch a fish like that, probably quite often. But to do it on the river and the way they fight in this current, these fish are just different. I'll take this all day long. I mean, just look at the colors on these things, guys. You got this big paddle tail. I mean, these fish are just incredible. Absolutely my favorite fish. Yep, we're at our second spot, guys. We're kind of Dropped down the river, we made a little run. We actually ran into some new kayakers, and but right now what I'm looking for is any current break. And if you look up above here, you see a log. The river turns just right where uh, these fish are actually able to get out of that current. You, you can tell which ones are the early risers. <laughs> and the other ones are like me. They kind of got out of bed a little late. 
they're still a little bit wet. Oh yeah, baby. Nice one. Nice, nice bite. It's hard to tell in the current. Right. I'm gonna work behind you at some point and get this fish in the net. Look at this. That one's a little length to it there too. I'm gonna come over Scott's head. Not a giant, but we're gonna net him for ease here. All right. Here we go. A little bit more length on this one, which is what you like to see. Nice fish. Light color fish. Haven't had one just eat them yet, so that means they're hitting it from the side. A lot of times you get this bait position just right, you'll get this fish in here, and they'll have this entire bait in its mouth. That is a nice river smallmouth right there. Guys, if you're out there thinking about trying out some gloves, Gorilla Grip gloves are about as non-intrusive, comfortable glove as you can find. You've probably seen guys wearing the blue glove. That's what they are. They are affordable. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at my shop, Modern Outdoor Tackle. It may take you a little bit to get used to wearing some gloves, but you wear them for a day, I promise you you're gonna wanna wear them next time because You'll feel naked without them, and I mean that. There he is, right there in that deep hole. Finally, not very big, but I figured there had to be a fish in here. He's a fat one too, look at this little fat turd. Another fat one. He's been eating good. Look at that belly. You know, guys, a 20 inch fish in here is a trophy fish. So coming out and catching these 14, 15 inch fish like that is still just a blast for me. I mean, you can come out here and catch them all day long if you get on the right pattern. But uh, that's, kind of the, that's kind of the trophy mark. If you hit that 20 inch mark, guys, you've got a special fish on these rivers. Some of the rivers in Missouri, a 20 incher is more common. 18, 19 incher is a great fish. But uh, you'll come out and catch a lot of numbers and have a lot of fun either way. And boy, they put up a fight. All right, guys, so it's been a really, really fun morning here on the river. This spot here, which is where we started today, you'll recognize it, is one of those spots where they'll come in here, they'll reload, or these fish will turn on in the afternoon. So I always like to end my day here. We're gonna try to get one more before we get, get to lunch here today. And it's never a bad thing when you can catch a bunch of fish and go eat lunch. There she is. Worked hard for this one. It seems like the bite slowed down a little bit. I don't know how big she is, but it was definitely a morning bite. A nice fish here to end the day on. We've got a couple places to be this afternoon. Otherwise, I could probably talk Scott into staying out here all day. I mean, when these, these, this quality of fish is biting and you can end the day on this, sometimes you just take what it, the good Lord gives you, if you can get them in the boat, and I'd say we got a little lucky because that one was hooked outside the mouth. A nice fish to end on, a really nice river smallmouth there. Boy, you don't hook them like that often. In the top, that fish didn't quite probably get it just right. These river smallmouth, you know that's a 15 inch fish. Catching them on big swim baits and when they hit it, I mean, they about knock the crank out of your hand. And look, you're not gonna come out here and catch 20 inches all day long, although they do live in here, sure. There's some bigger fish, but you get beautiful scenery, very little company. You get some floaters here and there, you get eagles flying around. And look, I'm not staring at spot lock all day, which is always a plus. For live scope, yeah, staring at spot lock. I did spot lock quite a bit. When I'm not staring at live scope, my neck doesn't hurt. Look at the colors on these fish. And the way we catch them, there she goes, she was ready to go. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is our second river episode we've done. We got good feedback on the last, so make sure you drop us comments. Tell us about some rivers that you want us to try and uh, check out the G3 boats. This jet boat's taking me so many places. It's a great family boat if you got kids. But uh, like, subscribe, come back for more, and we'll see you next time.